My Gavan and Melonine, and well met indeed. I am Anakir Galadurthan, and welcome back to Middle Earth as we continue on as Dunlan. Do you join me in our ill fated attempt to not lose? <laughs> we just need to hold Bree back. We've broken our alliance with Ennard Wyth, and maybe we can steal some provinces from them. And we're going to try and get Bree on side, to be honest, because we are now going to be playing this sort of as a good nation, as we've got to buy Isengard. And Rohan and Bree won't have any relations, so we, they are, even though they're both technically good. They don't actually know each other or have any kind of relationship. We're moving over then to kill Captain Harry, who is besieging Dunderak. If Dunderak does fall, then that will just be the end. Honest. Uh, we're not going to be able to come back from this with a single region. I mean, we probably could, but would it make for good YouTube? No, it would be turn after turn after turn of nothing. Defending Byrig, slowly pushing out. Uh, and I think it would just be better to start again so that we can try and show the end parts of the script. But if we can defeat Dunderak and see where the, the future yes, takes us, then we shall do that. Allow me to just say these videos are not when they should have been. So you've got one today, one tomorrow, which is normally the days where there aren't videos. Um, oh, no, actually, there is a video on a Saturday normally, isn't there? So it's just one of the days has moved over. Uh, and it's just because I wasn't available to record on Thursday or Friday. I was at a... Uh, on Thursday, I was away uh, on a charity international legends cricket event in the countryside near where I live. In fact, it was only 15 minutes away. So it was amazing that they got all of these cricket legends. So if you like cricket, I've met now a ton of cricketers who I should be blown away by. But I don't really care for cricket in any way. Uh, so it was a bit like... <laughs> it's like meeting Cristiano Ronaldo if you really don't care about football and I mean really don't care about football like you've heard his name before but you don't really know who he is you kind of know what he looks like but that's about it uh, uh, and so it's the same sort of thing I, I, uh, I've I, met I've now met all of these great cricketers and I couldn't I, I, it's like cool so that was a bit wasted on me but um, yes. the firm sponsored uh, various bits and bobs of it so I, I had to go along uh, Got a got a tailored suit out of it though in a charity auction bid. Whoa! <laughs> got to go to, up to London to get that s fitted up. Right. Anyway, uh, Bree just pulled back, didn't they? Captain Harry thought better of it. Will, so let's do what we can to try and get him as an ally. I'd like to take Danyard back, but I think we risk. Yes, my lord. We don't want to risk raising their ire. But what we can do is take back our lands from here. Yes, my lord. I'm tempted to take uh, Bile. Hold on to that one ourselves. And take Barad Vin and give one of them to Bree for the alliance. So I am going to do that. So we're going to take the army. Your will, Assemble Lord. the army! Uh, Nihilas, yes, no. I can't pronounce your name, so I'm not going to try. You're coming with me. I mean, obviously I could try, but I, I don't even know the rules of the language for most of these names. So I, it's just pure and utter guesswork. We do make a reasonable amount of money. So for all of my... All of the... Uh, um, suggestions that I don't build up enough eco. We have built up a considerable amount of eco to the point that we are able to actually make a couple of thousand. Or granted, we don't have a proper army when you've got this, but my lord. Um, it'll do, yes, you know, it'll lord. do. We but I think we have to end the turn there. Uh, and then I didn't record yesterday on Friday because it was so far our hottest day of the year. And this room is just, it's unbearable. It is unbearable. So um, I i had to wait till the room was 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 cooler. Uh, and by that point, I had other things to do, I'm afraid. So I thought, well, sorry, I'll just move the videos. And so that is what I've done. I'm recording this on Saturday morning. So it's going to go live in about, hopefully, three hours and 45 minutes, which means it might not be in full HD when it goes live, but we'll have to wait and see. YouTube tells you, yeah, no, we've done, mate. We've processed your video. That's all good to go. Set it live. Tell the world. Do, do you want to share it on these links? What what do you think? And so you, you can do all of that. And then you click on the video and you learn that it hasn't rendered it in HD yet. And so all the people watching along when it first releases, they get it in wonderful 360p or whatever it is, 380. Uh, this message, by the way, that you've seen now pop up every single turn, and it will do for the rest of time, uh, Lynx has now fixed that. Oh, Western Moria's cleared, Erebor falls, the Anduin falters, something's happened in Mordor, and Mithlond has gone down. I think we're due a toggle fog of war here, aren't we? Because something wicked this way comes. What happened up here? Ah, yes, look, Mithlond and Forlond fell to the Ardenaim, which we're not worried about in this one because we're Dunland. So they lost their... But that's a phenomenal a army that's going to take that back. The elves over there aren't doing too well either. So the elves are really not doing well anywhere. We'll see how they fare, how they get on. Ennard Wyth is getting soundly beaten by Bree. So... Oh, look, there's Halbrad just north of the river. Interesting, though, that... Um, 
It's Bree and not the Dunedain. The Dunedain are here, courtesy of Matrith and Argon. But it's Bree that are really hammering the nail in. And how are Isengard doing? Oh, they're besieging uh, Herod. They've got Bregnas. They've got the army moving through in Alk Food. Gund is still held by Rohan, though. Uh, and Isengard's army is getting whittled down. There is a force moving up to Dunyard, but the, the garrison of Isengard remains extremely strong. The Anduin were getting beaten. They weren't there. And something happened in West of Moria. Oh, Khazad-dum took it from the goblins. I do hope that's a direct effect of the goblins attacking me. Oh, wow. And Gundabad are storming it in the north, though. Look at that. They are absolutely smashing it up here. Dorwinian are doing well, though. Probably in the vacuum created by Dogledore. Dogledore aren't out, but it's rare that Dogledore don't have these places to back them up. And Gondor doing very well. They haven't lost anything east of the river. Don't I'm not doing alright as well. Baratar, Amun Ithel, Gobel Mirland. But they're definitely not for long for this world. Right, I don't think we should try and trade uh, this place then, because Yes, my lord. I will only address We you will need it. <laughs> but we just did we just built our military building. Yes! Warband sentries hosts. Yes, Frecklinger Harriers. Get involved, sons. We finally have some good forces. Uh, let's go. I'd be tempted with the leather worker just to try and boost our armor stats across the board, really. But I think we should probably go with crop rotation while we've got the money. So that'll do. I think you guys could probably hold even if Bree hits. So let's just Lord, pop in and take this real quick. We shall engage. Real quick, he we says. Two foul and border guards, herders, Tauta, and then they've got the two defenders. And we didn't bring anything that it has ranged attacks. So it's going to be, can our pikes push through? Attack. Maybe we should trade this to Bree. If it means we get an alliance, I would definitely trade it to Bree. We want Bree on our side. They're turning into an overwhelming force. Save them hyphen selves with a capital E. Uh, they didn't have anything that shot arrows or did anything like that. They did they? Oh, it's a nice one for um, pikes, actually. It's a nice one for pikes. And we've got our general, remember. What do you do? Are you javelins? Oh, buggy, yes they are. Let's try and catch them then. General, go with the pikes and clan spearmen will send you around that side. Right, go, go, go. Fly, fly. Be free. Into positions, men. There stands our enemy. But do not despair. Stand firm. I am not sure that we will win this. What are they doing? Why are they running around over there? If I run them down there, they'll just get flanked and die. So we won't do that. The Westron defenders are coming out, though. Coming up for our clan axemen. But if we are to endure some javelins, send in the general. He should massacre those uh, cavaliers. Cavaliers? Cavalry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Brennan's guard. Hold firm, sons. Oh, and that's their captain. Oh, good. So we'll knock their captain out early doors. Where is the actual captain? Here's the fun. Spot the captain. It's not that fellow because he looks the same as all the others. But one of them is a captain. Maybe at the back? Has someone seen him already? Oh, hello. You've got horns on your helmet. I think it must be you. We've got him. We've got him, boys. Where's our captain? That fellow there without the shield, maybe? Probably. Generals can't have shields. I think it's him. He's our general. I don't fancy us chances against those Western defenders, has to be said. Right, the general's now in the front line, so he'll die shortly. Or well, the captain, sorry. Good tidings. There he goes. The enemy general lies dead. No, don't do that. That's silly. That is silly. 
Send the pikes in and let's see how they react. Pray something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. I want to get them to sort of flank a bit if we can. There we go, that protects each other's flank. Move forward. The problem is, as soon as we take the square, the others will all come sprinting back. I think you might need to distract them. No, you guys wait. Wait where you are, and we'll... You can then charge them in the back, but inevitably they come for me in the center because of the square. So if you go and hit those touter... Oh, no, do the same thing. Oh! No, 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 no. Hold on, boys. Hold on. The pikes are massacring the border guards, which is nice. So we're getting a nice little win in the center. And then we've got to quickly change sides. One on the left, one on the right. Right, try and get into position. Nice, 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 nice. Pikes down. Move the general forward. There it is. You guys keep hitting them. Let's get the general to help on these, and then that'll get them killed off. Go on, just men are in command there we go. The city. And there we are. They're, they're reacting. They're panicking. They're panicking. They're panicking. They're panicking. They're panicking. We've general, protect the pikes. The city. There we are. There we are. Come and help. Go with them, 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 go with them. Hold your line and let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Do not let them push through. Come on, get back here. They won't go like full on all in the way that they do where they can just blob through you. Because they don't, we now don't have the town centre. I don't. We weren't trying to win through holding the town centre. We're going to try and win by massacring. And I think we should be alright because... We are... That right-hand side is just going to fall immediately. And we've now got our boys in blue over here. Get right up against as many of them as you can. Pikes, you may press back. I don't know if that's actually a good or a bad idea. Probably a bad one. Get the pikes out from that side, because that side's one. Now, what are you doing? Protect the pikes. Protect the pikes. The enemy are there we are. Bloody. A lovely little cacophony of death. Such tidings does victory and there you are, all sitting there thinking, Gallo is so bad at this game. Why do we watch him week Our on week? What is there the about this man that's enjoyable and interesting? And, and then you see a battle like this, and you think, oh, Gallo is really good at this game. <laughs> Stop it, you... I jest, I jest. Right, there's the last couple over there to die. The enemy are utterly yes. vanquished. 240 this for a thousand. This is a great victory worthy of only the mightiest of generals. Arm me with a pike and I shall conquer the world for thee. Is oft said around the moot halls and drinking yards of Dunland. Is my phone silenced? Yes, I believe it is. Do, do, oh, I didn't hang up the... No, I did hang up the washing. Yes, I did hang up the washing. Yeah, the shirt's on the door behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Moving through. I'm going to record this episode, and I'm also going to record the Reunited Kingdom immediately <laughs> afterwards. Uh, and then I hope to record the fourth episode of Humankind today as well, to be honest. Not that that's of any interest to you, but uh, just thought I'd mention it. Triumphed. Humankind, humankind. <laughs> Our courage and honor have right, conquered. it is only a village, so it's pretty useless. So... Um, Hmm, we do share a similar culture though, don't we? I'll take 264 gold coins. In fact, we share identical culture, don't we? Yes, so there's no cultural unrest. So then the question just becomes, Lord, would Bree be want... Why can't I ally with you? Ah, oh, because you have to ceasefire first, don't you? Ah, uh, look, it's very demanding for a ceasefire, so it's very unlikely that we would be able to do this. Even that's only balanced. Good no. day to you. Bree aren't going to take it. They're not coming for it. Yes, my lord. 
We can get a clan levy grounds, but it's not all that useful. We'll keep everything. We will just we'll just keep it as it is. We'll try and actually maintain it. Yeah, your troops are training. That's good because Isengard are on their I'm way. Do we have a general in our capital? Our faction leader, I should have hoped. Yeah. Oh, and you've only got cavalry. Well, we'll get rid of those in a second. I wouldn't say no to Austin Nathiel, but we don't want to bring down the wrath of... Uh, what we could do with is taking Tharbad and just holding there, actually. And then Bree can't do out against us. But Vion is like us. You might as well get a clan levy grounds. You've got the money for it. Yes, my lord. There's no harm. There's no harm. Would you uh, have you got any siege? Probably not. Your orders, my Can lord. all of you save yes, all the general? Yes, you can. Right, Your so if you go there, lord. and then the rest of you go and join yes, him. My lord. Just in case Bree gets any ideas. Host. Train another unit of long spears. Good. Now, when we build that, actually, they will become free upkeep. So that is a good idea. That's 160 gold coins straight away for the cost. Well, it's a thousand, so it will take 10 turns to pay itself back. But that's actually not a bad return if you really do break it down. Not a bad return at all, son. Um, but if you could give me some more forces. Good. Right, I think we should push for Tharbad. En and Wythe do not want to come all we in on us because they'll die. We are um, they're being hounded north of the river. They can't really risk it. They're about to lose Herat as well. So I think we'll get Bile for free. Interesting that it's just lost 400 gold coins. But that could be because Dunrak's been besieged. Who knows? <laughs> do you know? I don't know. So we'll kill off Captain Harry and then we will go and take Tharbad. Um, and then we'll build in a garrison up there which can hold that quite nicely. Uh, and then we can focus our attention on taking some of Enid White's lands before we then circle back into Isengard. We need to get on Isengard. We can't let them wait too long because if we let them wait too long, they will build up and they will then be unbeatable. Um, but remember that Rohan is giving them everything it can give them. Oh, good. Byrig will get its units before the... Uh, Captain Malgor hits them, which is tasty. Very tasty. Yes, my lord. Are you my spy? I can no, you're not. You, but Do I have two spies? Lord, no, I don't. Lord. Oh, Bregnas is still held. That's good. I thought I did have a second. My yes, lord. there he is. Right, if you can come and just a make see what happens up here. My lord. We're not too worried about Fuching what's going on in Dunyar, I suppose. Lord. Right, let's hit Bree lord, then. My lord. Captain Harry. Come and get me. Yes, you my lord. Coward. I will come and get you, and I will do it with glee, sir. To battle. Captain Harry, the general is merchant militia. He has got one unit of Dundown Rangers, but there's only 27 of them, so that's not a problem. I really like Bree. Look at the army. Watchman sword guard looking glorious. Greenway spearmen. I mean, it's a it's Bree. It's a it's a weakened trash Bree army. It's not going to do very well. I'll control you, Blaith. Play it. Muster your Play it. courage, men. We march into battle. I, Arakir Galudirifal, shall command thee, and through me, I will lead you to greatness or death, but most likely greatness. Those that survive in my campaigns are honoured well. There aren't many of them that survive, but those that do are honoured well. Four pike units we have today. Delightful. They don't have very many ranged options at all, actually, do they? So let's take a little stroll up this hill over here and circle around with them. I tell you what, um, I'm not bothered too much about you guys, so why don't you guys go and just throw a real spanner in the works and, a, and then just attack them and see how they see how they deal with that. Ah, oh, they've already moved up the hill. <laughs> good, good. The enemy uses brains. This is unexpected. Breland militia. We shall dislodge them from the seat they have taken. There we go, they're moving in to hit the bandits. There's some Dunedain wardens on that edge, bandits. They love a taste. Now we will be possibly fighting uphill, but no, they're not actually No, they're not they're not doing very well at all. They're really throwing this battle. Oh, AI, even when I give it to you on a plate. All we had to do was stand up on the top like of the this, hill we will and wait. Smash the enemy. Right, so if you would, hit the Greenway Spearmen because the archers will run away. I mean, you might as well try and hit the Woodland Hunters and the various archers, but I don't think they'll let you shoot them, to be honest. 
I don't think they'll let you fight them, I mean. Yeah, look, they're already walking off. So hit the Greenway Spearman, hit the Watchman Axe Guard, hit the Farmhand Pikes. Oh, Farmhand Pikeman versus Dunlending Long Spears. Let's put it to the test. Our general's coming up behind. Oh, we're Breland Militia and meet him. It's so bright, isn't it? Goodness gracious. Look at them, standing strong. Dunedain Rangers, there's the general as well, waiting. Our pike lines are about to meet. Oh, the journeyman didn't back. Oh, of course, crossbows don't skirmish, do they? They run away if told to run away, but they don't skirmish. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Victory will indeed be ours. The bandits are actually doing all right, holding that unit in place there. Farmhand pikes creeping forward. Go and hit the merchant cab. General, are you engaged? Yes, you are. Breland militia versus Brennan's guard. That is not a match. I would want to put my Breland boys in. Does this general care nothing for the sanctity of Bree? It's peoples? Oh, I forgot about you. Come and get involved. Whoops. There we are. Hit them in a few more places, if you would. Oh, it's been a massacre. It has been a massacre. They have lost half their men. Upon the hill, our enemies do die. Those farmhand pikes. Surrounded, broken. They're running. <laughs> no, my farmhand. Everyone's lost. In fact, I think the general might be the only one still fighting. Where's the Dunedain? The Dunedain don't give up, do they? Oh, did we kill them? <gasps> did we kill the Dunedain? Dunedain. There's some archer militia still going. Oh, and some Dunedain wardens over there. That Oh, you've got some shots on now. Come and kill those Dunedain wardens. Right, so the merchant militia stand alone. The enemy's general. But they'll die. The Brennan's guard will carve them down. And Bree will fall. The battle is very good tidings. The enemy, the enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Pursue we and run them down. We the lost 306. We, we killed 952. Today. And the top slot went to the Long Spears at 137. Now let's push north. Get Tharbad back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the warrior cry for Tharbad. I don't know if you know. But if you read into the text enough as I have and become a scholar of Lord of the Rings and Tolkien's works, you'll know that the men of Tharbad say ooh, ooh, ooh every time they defend anything. Uh, it's written, uh, Silmarillion, I believe. Page 252. Uh, Tharbad's mentions in the Silmarillion are oft and welcomed. What shall we do with the 927 drunken sailors? Kill them all. Ah! Kill them all! An honorable, right. Glorious Don't lose momentum, my boy. Orders, my lord. North you go. We shall Get there in a turn if we're lucky. Yes, my lord. Ho -ha -he. Let's go and try and get trade routes with the Dwarvers. Tomorrow's we do not want the Dwarvers knocking on our door. Oh, you could train a unit. You might as well. It's one extra unit, isn't it? We've got forts to put them all in. As you say, I didn't utilise the forts well enough at the start. But now we shall use the forts. And then some, my boys. Once we've taken third, but I wouldn't say no to Baradvin and Hierat. And then um, we'll just see if we can do this. Roll those dice for me, everyone. And make sure they come up double sixes. Because that's what we need. Luck. If Isengard threw everything they had at us, we're out. Of course we are. But Isengard have Rohan to deal with and uh, Ennard Wyth to deal with. And Ennard Wyth will soon have Bree bordering them in only one place. Uh, the crossings of Londair. And I believe this left one always wants to fall out. It's so annoying. <laughs> Once they're only at Londair. New Haven, if memory serves, Londair means. Or Old Haven. Lond means haven. You'll note that from Harlond, Forlond, Mythlond, which means Greyhaven, Northhaven, Southhaven, in the right orders, if I said it in the right orders. Yes, my lord. Yes, they didn't cross Battle. south. We shall prevail. Oh, goodness yes. gracious, Captain Stan. What is that army? That's a massive army. Get as much up there as we can before as Stan hits wish. us. We can go no and you can bugger today. off, Malgor. Let's see your our new lord, army in the lord. flesh, shall we? Your will, my lord. That one looks like Baldrick we from Blackadder. Engage. Tony Robinson. Glory, honor, <laughs> Come on, Baldrick, lead us to glory. Captain yes, Malgor Lord. is some of the old guard that was spawned in. Oh, look, there's more Isengard forces there. They're coming for us. They're coming for us. And they're coming hard, and they, we can't push that back. But we've got our new Attack. units. Let's have a look at them, and let's get them into the battle and see how they fare. See how they uphold the rights of Dunland. 
I'm looking at myself every time I look over there, by the, uh, by the way. Originally, I turned off the preview because it makes the program run just ever so slightly better. But then I realized that it was absolutely not noticeable if the preview's on or not. And having the previews on is helpful to see what you can all see to make sure that I am actually recording and not wasting 40 minutes of my life. So, Warband Sentries, Warband Blades, and Warband Host. So we've got the, tr the Holy Trinity of Medieval 2. One ranged, one defensive, one aggressive. The Warband Blades have an 8 attack and an 18 defense. So we are actually getting up there now. We're getting troops that can do stuff. And Isengard will sure learn it. We've got Frekalinga Harriers, which is what um, Freka had, actually. But obviously, he's dead now, so... Let's get them involved. We've also got the Frekalinga Hill Riders. We're going to use you two to put down their archers. And you, you, and you, and you. We're just going to walk towards them, to be honest. We're going to beat this enemy by overwhelming numbers. Where are they? In the trees? You cowards. Hiding in the trees. Cavalry performs less good in trees. Less good? That's not really the right term, is it? Cavalry doesn't do as well in trees. That's better. Right. Armor piercing. Raiders. And then the archers. That's all we've got here today. Alright. I'll allow it. Cavalry, if you could sprint into position, that'd be great. There's the archers. Hit them. Hit them and hit them good. Move in, my boys. Crossbows, I don't think you're really going to have a job today, I'm afraid. very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Oh, that was a fantastic charge. Well done. Pull out, your boys are coming. Hold the line! It's like Gladiator, isn't it? I mean, that's what I was trying to replicate them. Because you are in Elysium, and you're already dead. In you go, boys. Give them Dunlending Fury. That's not a euphemism. Get your mind out the gutter. Clan Axemen are with you. Clan Axemen. Oh, and the Brennan's Guard, of course. Right, cavalry, your role has changed. You're now going to kill the general. Let's get back into the trees. Warband host is hit into the reavers. The enemy are badly bloody. Oh, because the archers ran away, of course. Lost half their men. Oh, good charge there, boys. Good charge. If we continue like <laughs> More this, kind of just came upon them the than enemy. actually charged into them, didn't you? Oh, they're routing. Cowards. one more. Go okay, and get those archers. Cavalry, just run away. Good tight. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Uh, yes, I think we will capture every single one of them. If that's all right. No, 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 no! Don't let them get away. Come on! No! Come on! Come on, you're, you're right there. Follow them, get them, get them, get them. One, two, three. Yes. By the victory we have won here today. 48 men lost and the Harriers got 154. What you've just witnessed is how woefully bad I commanded Frecker up until this point. But it doesn't matter. Because the sun above those clouds out there is shining. And that's all you need to worry about. There's some beauty up there, Mr. Frodo. That even the smoke, I think he says, can't tarnish. I'm making up the last part. 
Doodly do do. An honorable, glorious victory. Yes, well done, well fought. Ambush if need be. Yes. Get yourselves over to Dunderack. Ah, uh, no, Dunderack, you can't train cavalry, so that's not the unit for you. But you can now get an ancestral Brock after the leather worker. Mm, not really, we don't make any money. We don't make any money, we don't. Um, but you are getting your farmland up, though. I thought we should be able to retrain those, and indeed we can. Indeed we can. My lord. I don't want to put the crossbows in the fort in case we need them. But we need to get them up to Tharbad. Let's see what uh, Isengard does with this new information. That Malgor is now dead. Ah, Captain Stan did hit us. We are on a bridge, though. Can we hold that, do we think? It would be an outrageous victory if we did. Archers... Archers. They just have so many units that I fear and siege. I think... Mm, no, and Reginard, Captain Nicky. They've just got too many. I don't think the Pikes could just hold it all. No. No. So I'm not going to withdraw, though, because they'll come across the bridge Muster and get me. Courage, so we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. Battle. And we're going to fight it and run away. And I'm going to make you watch. You will sit there and you will watch. The tide of battle seems to have turned against us. Do we have any we archers at all? No, yeah, we're definitely running. I know that it's a bridge. I know that it seems in our favour. The but enemy no, we're are bringing out. in reinforcements. We're out. Fly, fly. Our oh. defeat is ours on this day. We have nothing. Right, that should pull them all the way back to our. Oh, now they're going to come for Bile or Bile or whatever it's called. If we formed up our, all of the forces we currently have and went back, I think we could take Tharbad against the army that they've got there. But we would need every single unit we currently have. But Bree is a better prospect for us than than Isengard, certainly. Uh, and to an extent, Enidwyth as well, because of Enidwyth's proximity. Bree can only come across the river distressed. in the north there. Oh, you Fall went to the fort. What are you on? Please don't follow him. Please don't Pulling follow him. Ah, oh, good. Walls. Oh, they've broken up. That means we could go in. And they got rid of the general. In, that Reginard's in Tharbad. I think we should go and kill that Bree army now. Without the reinforcements, I think we can do them. We can do them. Swords at the ready, we shall gut them all. What did Isengard do? Don't do anything, Isengard. Yes, this is the way. Well done, Isengard. You will be remembered in song. Probably not our songs, but I'm sure someone will sing of you. It's Lord of the Rings, there's a song for everything. They sing songs when the day changes. My lord. Welcome yes. Monday, a what a day. Who are you enemies with? You might actually want an alliance. Do we already have trade rights? Yes, we do. No. Nema Freen. Oh, Isengard are coming now. Oh, no. Come on, Rohan. Do better. And Edwith are coming back for a, day, a taste as well. We have a t a too many enemies now. We cannot hold them all at bay. Although you're probably going to get your ancestral Brock up, actually. My lord, I will only address you in battle. Captain Stan has some elite Be units gone. in there. Gatekeepers are very good. We can't attack Tharbad now because, of course, he'll kill us. Um. Oh, you could train some units. Yeah. Uh, don't do that one. Do that one. Oh, no. They're basically the same, but that one's better. Yeah. Get that one. Right. Um, normally, when you have two units like that, the payoff is that one has a better defense. But these two units, other than that one, is a spear, so it's better against cavalry. Generally, their axemen are just all round better. Hmm, interesting one. Right. Let's do it. We've got to kill Stan. We can do it. We can do it. Have faith. Be bold, be strong. Your will, my lord. If they come for Byrick, I think we'll be all right. Do you have a garrison building? No, you don't. You could probably do with one. I mean, it's too late now, really. We should have built them already. But those few extras will be very worthwhile. And it only costs 100 gold. Try and build it. 
Dead. Worry about the leather tanner your another will, day. My lord. My lord. By your command. Yes, my lord. Uh, one of you go back yes. there. And I'll tell you what, actually. Retrain that one instead. It's got an experience and it's, it achieves the same function. Your, will. your orders, my lord. Join with Aeon. Combining force as you wish. All right. Joining That's all we got. That's all we're going to get. Or oh, I wouldn't say no to two of you, actually. Just bolster the defense however you're able. Just, just be ready. <laughs> yes, my lord. Let's do it. We shall engage. The battle for our time. The battle for Helm's Deep is over. The battle for Middle Earth is about to begin. So there's some Dunedain Rangers. There's some Watch Sheriffs and Badrass Archers. Watch Sheriffs, remember, throw stones. Vanderbrass Archers. Watchman Bogard, Watchman Bogard, Dunedain. So they've got a reasonable amount of range forces. Two gatekeepers, but... And they've got a lot of Dunedain. That is a very Dunedain-heavy army. We attack. <laughs> they don't have a general. And remember, Bree doesn't have a particularly good um, grasp of morale. Of uh, keeping the people happy. Oh, I should have gotten a drink. I've only just had breakfast, though, so it doesn't matter too much. But I should have gotten a drink. And I will do. I shall pause hereafter and gain myself a drink. Right, we don't really have any range, and our primary strength is in our Wall of Pikes. So, the Wall of Pikes will advance across the field of No Man's Land. Uh, General and 1-1, one, one, you guys go left. General and 1-1, one, and one, you guys go right. You are going to come down the middle with the pikes and just... I don't know how we're going to use you, to be honest. I don't not do not know how we're going to be effective with you. Bandits, you're going to run forward as what I like to call bait. So if you could just sprint at them for me, please, bandits. Now, it is just the lack of a general that I'm, I'm, I'm bullied by. I'm buoyed by. Their general not being present is going to... It's going to nip them in the bud a bit. Oh, they appear to be coming for us. Oh, that's interesting indeed. Bandits! Bandits! Oh, no, they've stopped. They've stopped. So move forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. The bandits managed to get into the middle, though, and cause a ruckus, which is what we always want to see. Right, they're watch sheriffs, there's merchant infantry behind. So hit the gatekeepers. Hit the farmhand pikes. Hit the gatekeepers. Hit the watchman bogard. Sprint you in. Certain. Shut up, man. The faith. They're linking over one another, but I don't mind that too much. I'm not sure our stone throwers are really doing anything. They're in positions. Right, so the front line has met the enemy. We've got them surrounded on that side. Got some Greenway Riders. We can tie them down with the general. That would be a dream. Dunedain Warden's holding on that side there. The pike, the pike line there is not protected. You sprint in there and help. Get out, rid of those Greenway Riders if you would. Those Dunedain Wardens are now flanked, which should help us. Yeah, look, the enemy doesn't want it. Some of the lower tier units are already thinking of running away. I also think it might be better to just charge you in there rather than using your stones. Just plug the gap. Support the... Uh... Where is the general? General... Dunedain Rangers. Let's see if we can sideswipe them. All right, that general over there might die, but this fella's our actual leader, and he's killed off those greenways, and then he's going to get in there. Is that Dunedain Warden unit? Flat, run, run. It's getting ready to run away. It's getting ready to run away. Oh, sorry, stone throwers. Throw it whatever you fancy, I suppose, actually. Oh, no, you actually did throw at them, then. Our men have slain yes! The enemy general. That was now a fantastic charge. Well done. Oh, I've got a really itchy ear. Ah, that's annoying. Right, carry on. Well done, boys. Well done, boys and girls. Look at this. Do not let them get away. Do not let them get away, because they'll only come back. Yes, that was perfect. Bit of a mouthful, these island names, eh, boys? Right, through there. Through we go. 
Oh, Bree, you have been undone, sirs! <sighs> Stand your ground across the board. Dudenheim Wardens don't want it. They don't want it. They do not want it. Oh, we've got fighting to the death in the middle. Oh, it's turned into a massacre of epic. <laughs> Captain Stan went down a while ago. We know that already. I don't know why I'm looking at that. Here's the glorious Merchant Infantry. Now, Merchant Infantry are very good. They keep in that theme of being outrageously well armoured. Uh, they're effective against armour. They have an eight attack, but they have a really low morale. Comparatively for units of their type. Um, so if you had a unit with that kind of those kind of numbers fighting for say Rohan uh, or Gondor's probably a better example for the moment, the fortune of battle they would be really really good Trade they would fight to the death such. no trouble but these guys not so much oh someone died Enthor Enthor's given his all Enthor's this one I think that's alright we had two Enthor's didn't we there were two people that looked like that Right, cavalry. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. I don't want those watch sheriffs getting out. Although we'll har har harvest up those first. There we go. And then go and get those watch sheriffs. Ninety percent. That should see the death of them all. Well done. Just cutting through. Oh, yes. Utterly vanquished. That was a fantastic victory. All who remember this day, one six one. Brennan's guard. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Badoop, badoop, badoosh. Stand before me, Bree. And I will knock thee down. It's interesting having the camera on because what many of you might be thinking is ever since the camera's been on, Galu like plays up to it. But something that you don't realise, or probably some of you hopefully do, is that when the camera wasn't on, this is exactly what I was like behind the screen. I, I don't um, think of the camera much. I like to make sure that I don't look too um, unbecoming. But beyond that, I just like to... Oh, 5,000. Nah, kill them ah. Kill every single one of them. We have triumphed. Oh, bugger, we can't orders, get to Tharbad. We can't get yes, to Tharbad. Oh, no. Your orders, my lord. Well done, Enthor. To Your battle. life. Though you are dead, you have achieved greatness. And the people will remember you. Uh, by Dunarak's going to get a nice little garrison in a moment. By Rig, oh, you could get a couple of pike men. Yes, please. And if you can, you might as well chuck them in. What the hell? Bodies behind the ball, please. Park the bus. Isengard can't take Bregnas from Rohan, which is nice to see. Here it still hasn't fallen. So why are they coming so ham for us from Dunyard? Which they've left one unit of Urukai archers. If we got a cavalry unit, it might sneak through. Your will, my lord. Oh, we have. Is that really yes. silly idea? I'm gonna stick you by your command. Let's see if we'll we can take Dunyard here. with a single cavalry unit. <laughs> my lord. Oh, he can stop them. Yes. Why didn't you go earlier? We just deliberately yes, nerfed our own army. Making camp here. What are we on? 43. Let's end the turn just so that we can leave it at the start of a new one. Come on, Isengard. Send those orcs, send those armies to me and I will beat them back. Once we can get Tharbad in the fold and then we can start knock, knock, knocking on Enidwyth's door... Then Enderwyth's going to attack us here, so unfortunately that is going to be the end. Because I don't want to fight that battle in this episode. I would like to go on to the reunited kingdom now. So uh, I'm going to save it. But I have no doubt that we will smash that army. In fact, that's just such an easy win. Like, that's just not even worth fighting, is it? <laughs> uh, oh, sod it. Let's just win that and then call it a day then. Yes, what an absolutely Preparing pathetic to attempt attack. to take our city from us. Granted, they didn't know we were going to get garrison forces. Their own garrison building now working against them. I should just state, and I've said this many times before, but what the hell, it's always nice to talk about modding a little bit, isn't it? The garrison building is, de de in the files, it is set as a temple. Uh, and so the point is that the garrison buildings should be destroyed whenever someone new takes over a town. Um, and if it doesn't work on someone new taking over the town, it's supposed to work on someone with a new culture taking over the town. So, for example, we are the middlemen culture. So we would expect to keep the garrison buildings of um, Ened Wife because we're the same culture. But we shouldn't keep the garrison buildings of someone like Isengard because they're not the same culture. But for whatever reason, for some time now, it's been bugged. And um, it was bugged before I left, so it's nothing to do with the new team. It just seemed to stop working one day. And I can't for the... I certainly couldn't, for the life of me, figure out why. Um, and it's just never resolved itself. But I don't think it's the end of the world. The garrison building is so useful, and it helps so many people. 
that I'm not overly fussed if it doesn't get destroyed every time you take a town. Um, I don't think it breaks the gameplay too much. But of course, it does mean that we're going to now hold Bile. We need to rename this town. Y you, watching along now, give me name suggestions for this town, please. Because I can't call it something that I don't know. I don't know if it's Vai, Vile, Bile, Bay. I have no idea how you pronounce it. And it's a weird word. So if you could recommend suggestions and we will call it something else. It looks like they're going to come and try and javelin us to death. That'd be very in keeping or very on brand, as it were. Oh, no, they're just going to run them to their death. Right. Jolly good. The stone throwers are really not very good. If we continue like this, our men have slain the enemy general. <laughs> Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. <laughs> oh, enemy general, you're, you're a moron. I'm hoping that our defender units can win on their own, but... I think the billmen might win out. It doesn't matter, actually, if they... If we... If we have to use some of our own troops, we have to use some of our own troops. Sod it. Oh, there we go. Continue no, that's like it. this, we will smash the enemy. The enemy are badly bloodied. You don't get they to come back. You ran away. Accept your decision. Jammy gets. Play the whole thing at time six. How many do you think we're going to lose? Twenty percent. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Oh, you're so bad. You're such a useless unit. 157 we lost. And 100 of that, 110 of that came from Garrison. So we lost 40 troops. But we can retrain them now, courtesy of the clan levy grounds that we built in this village, which you are going to name. But that is going to be the end. So if we fight, if someone else attacks us, I'm just going to save it and call it a day. But hopefully they won't and we can go through the end turn. Please don't be alarmed. When you watch the next Reunited Kingdom episode and learn that I'm in the same t-shirt because I'm going to record it immediately after this one. I'm going to go and get a drink and then I shall continue. Um, so, I'll be wearing the same thing. It's Bree that I'm most concerned about. I don't want them to attack us on that bridge until the army has come up to support our brave captain. We stand oh, Isengard, what is your problem? I mean, I did tell them to attack me, but... Why do you attack me? You're just not going to win these kinds of battles. I know that you're better than us, but you don't have a general. You're fighting in a city. You've got to get through the walls, and we're just better than you. Orders. That gives us something to, to think about, though. Please it rise up. Siege. Please siege send your archers against me. Up. That is what we're after. Byron got its crop rotation in before they did attack us. And our Whoa. army can hit far bad. Assembling a right, now that we know that this place is as defended as it is, engage. I'm going to take those we two out. Retrain those. Take another one of them. You get two free upkeep, don't you? Yes, you do. So let's just do two of those to sit in there. That's good. That's every building that you're going to get. Oh, you're quite close to upgrading, actually. Good job we didn't wipe out your population. We don't make enough money for that, but we do now have more forces here than they were expecting. And this one's a castle as well. And then, of course, we've got those things. I have no doubt we'll win that. We've got our proper elite units in there now. We also would get the highest tier here. We need a blacksmith. So that must be next. We can get our elites right now. We're already on, on, on course for it. And in fact, I think you can as well, can't you? Yes, you can. So the Ancestral Bok, we know we can already get. Oh, we should have let the leather worker finish then. That was a bad decision, Gallo. Uh, oh, well. I mean, it only gives 60 gold, so it's not the end of the world. But it's just one tier closer to getting to the end, isn't it? But no, I would like those two garrison buildings to go. Ideally, if we can take Dunyard, merge those two armies, run them down to Dunyard and hold there, that would be better. But I don't think we'll be able to do that. Before now, that is going to end this Dunland episode. So thank you very much for watching, if indeed you have. I do not think we are out of this yet. That battle over Stan rightly being commended on the field uh, is, is might, may well be our turning point. And we can catch Reginard out, who's a sellsword. He's a usually reasonably good general. We'll definitely be able to beat that. And even if we can't, we can just siege him for 11 turns. Yes, my lord. I mean, I don't think we'll actually be able to siege him for 11 turns. But once we've killed these two Isengard forces as well, there doesn't seem to be much else around down here. Approaching quietly. Ah. 
Uh, I wish to rescind my earlier statement. Uh, let's have a little toggle fog of war again at the end of the episode, actually. Remember, give me name suggestions for this. We need it renamed, and we need it renamed now. So Goond is still held, Bregnas is still held, Isengard's force that pushed into Enidwyth seems to have been defeated, or ran back to Karas, it ran back to Karas. Rohan is trying to fight on the east, but just not doing anything about it. What are you doing? Why, are you, why have you got people just standing around? Go and fight them! You're so rubbish, Rohan. You are so rubbish. So bad at this. <laughs> Do better, you bastards! I can't defeat this. I mean, we might. I'm we might. Stick you. We might have a hope if we can defend a city for it. But ended by pulling all its forces back and not actually being beaten over here. Looks like Bree has bitten off too uh, a little more than it can chew. And indeed, it doesn't seem to have any reinforcements anywhere near. Ooh. Perhaps then, where is our diplomat? Our diplomat. Where are you, sir? Ah, oh, you're up in uh, yes, Western Peaks, aren't you? What about we go and chat to these fellas and try and get some trade rights again then? What's your name, sir? Futar. Futar 175307. Yes, my lord. We shall listen to your proposal, but do not. Oh, expect very them. generous. Oh, they don't want the map info though. What about that then? And then. Oh, you're bankrupt. No. Alright, well, just those two then. How could we refuse? And have another worthy proposal then. Excellent. An right, honor yeah, and I'll a take the pleasure. ceasefire in the Farewell. trade. Well, um, we can take our lands either from Bree by crossing the river, which I don't really want to do, or we can m amass and try and snipe something from Isengard. Unlikely. <laughs> for now, that is going to be a lot. Thank you very much for watching, and until we speak again, rename Bile. Navayar and then Permadmanunin and farewell.